Hey, good morning, First Christian Church in West Point. I, someone reminded me just not too long ago that they asked me, have you been to the 10 Lizzie to do your weekly update? And I had to think about it, and I was like, I don't think I have. And I've been coming to this restaurant at least once a week, particularly in the mornings for breakfast with the elders, since I, I think I pretty much started. So almost coming up on six years, and I've never done the weekly update here. The 10 Lizzie is one of the truck stops, uh, restaurants that we have here in town where uh, I mean you just come in you sit down they come bring you your coffee and at some point they even look at you and say do you want your regular and yeah I'd like my regular uh, so it's a great little place to come and uh, it's very it's very cool it's eclectic and uh, we got pretty good food too and the staff here is very friendly we have a good time when we come on Tuesdays. It used to be Mondays, we switched to Tuesdays. But uh, yeah, so the Tin Lizzie here in West Point. If you're gonna be driving through town, make sure you check it out. Uh, and uh, lots, of, lots to see and lots to do here. So uh, good food, you'll have fun. All right, so I wanted to make sure that I talked about some of the uh, announcements for this week. One is that tonight, which is Wednesday night, is uh, that was Margot laughing? By the way, if you heard her laughing in the background, that was Margot. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So uh, um, uh, tonight is the His Glory meeting with Robbie and meeting in the fellowship hall. It's going to be at seven o'clock. So if you want to come and just fellowship, have a Bible study, uh, learn a little bit more in the scriptures, talk about things, that's the place to go. So make sure that you come tonight at seven o'clock for the His Glory meeting. Also. Uh, this Sunday is the board meeting, and it'll be immediately after the service on Sunday. So stick around for a few minutes after the church. Come find out what's going on. Um, you know, all, all the ministries are going to be talking about what they're doing, what they plan on doing. Uh, and, you know, that way you can be involved. You get to know what's going on with the church. That's the board meeting happening Sunday after the service. And then, of course, uh, we have our Sunday night service, which is now our Monday night service. And uh, that's going to that's gonna be at uh, 6.30 on Monday night. We are having potluck. So if you are coming to the Bible study on Monday night, make sure that you bring uh, some food to share with everybody. And uh, the first week we did it, we had 33 people show up, which for an evening Bible study is amazing. The second week we did it, we had 39 people show up for our Monday night Bible study. And we're still in the book of Revelation. The youth are meeting. We had two new, brand new people come to the youth group on Sunday night, which was awesome. So make some plans, make sure you're there. And uh, that's some of the events that we have going on this week. So, uh, it's hard, it's hard to control. And James, uh, you know, he, it's in the book of James about what we need to learn to do to, to, to control this. And it's, it's almost impossible to, but here's what it says about the tongue. Here's what it says about your words. Here's what it says about these things. Listen to this. So in James chapter three, starting in verse nine, it says this with the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness, uh, likely, likeness. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape uh, vine bear figs? Neither can salt spring produce fresh water. That's the hard part about this, because what we think comes out, and it happens like that. And so he's saying here, hey, listen, what do you want to be known for what comes out of your mouth? Do you want to be known for the good things? Do you want to be known for the bad things? Because you can't have salt water coming out of a fresh water. You can't have fresh water coming out. You can't have things coming out of an olive tree. You can't have those things. So who you are... And what you're portraying out to everybody, if you look at a fig tree, you're going to say that there's figs coming out. The appearance is figs. You look at a well, and you look at the well, and you say, what's going to come out of that well is fresh water. But what comes out is olives? Doesn't work. What comes out is salt water? Doesn't work. And as a Christian, we are there to build each other up and love on each other and help each other. And we can't tear each other down. we got to build each other up with our words, with our actions. All right, people, think about that.
Am I preaching about that on Sunday? No. Do I know what I'm preaching about on Sunday? Yeah. Are we going to be in the New Testament? Yes. Am I going to tell you what book? No. But I will see you then. See you Sunday morning. See you tonight at His Glory. I'm not going to be there tonight, but I hope you show up. And we'll see you Sunday morning. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Check out Tin Lizzie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. See you then. All right. Bye, everybody.